Hey you, welcome back to my channel. I am Tafera Nava and today's video is going to be about things that I have been loving since we have been in quarantine or sheltering in place as they also like to call it. And um, these are actually some products or things that I have been doing or things that I have realized that I just really have been um, appreciating and valuing and cherishing and um, even like confirming to myself that I just really love and appreciate and enjoy since we have been in quarantine. So um, I only grabbed a few things um, and there's a few things that I don't have to show you that I'm just gonna talk about. So without further ado, let's get started. So I'm gonna be looking here because the things that I'm gonna show you are actually sitting next to me in this chair. So I'm gonna be reaching down here and grab all right, no particular order. First thing I have been loving is Dr. Tills. Yes, Dr. Tills. Um, particularly the Epsom Soft, but I love Dr. Tills brand. If you follow my blog online, you have seen me talk about this on the post, but I have like found another level of appreciation for this. Um, I just, I, I've just been really like trying to relax and detox and be in the moment of just having not a whole lot to do as far as like going out to events and things like that. I just appreciate being at home and this is one of the things that I've had for years and years and years but you just, wow, this is why I have this. And I've been using it more in the shower lately. Um, I never really did it that much because I take more baths with it. But I have been scooping up a cup of this, throwing it on the floor of my shower and just letting the steam hit it and just enjoying the aroma therapy of Dr. Till's Epsom Salt and um, just the benefits of it being under my feet. This is something that I just have really, really been loving since being in quarantine and shutting down at home. And um, this is their new one. This is the hemp seed oil with the essential oil blend. And... Um, I love this scent. I bought it at least three times since I discovered it in my local Walmart. And yeah, I just, I love it. And it also has two of my other favorite scents, which is White Time and Bergamot. I'll be talking about Bergamot in a bit. And um, yeah, so Dr. Till's Epsom Salt has become just a real love and appreciation since we've been in quarantine. And it's been a part of my life anyway, and it will stay that way. I like something like that. The next thing is, since we're kind of in like the health aromatherapy, is my Pure Essential Oil Aromatherapy blend and kind of a humidifier, so to speak. I bought this maybe five years ago. I actually got it from Burlington, and yeah, it's for essential oils, and it's a bit of a um, humidifier as well that has mist, it has a light, it changes different colors when you press the light button here and then that's the mist button and I just have been appreciating this so much more having it next to my bed on the side that I sleep on and just taking in the aromatherapy at night while I really try to unwind and relax and it's just nice I look over and I'm very happy that you did good when you bought this. <laughs> I mean, I knew I would appreciate it and like it, but again, since just really being at home, really realizing what's in my home, what the things that I like to um, de decorate my place and just make it feel warm and relaxing and cozy and inviting and inspiring and just all of those things, healing, having this has been a huge, huge um, blessing for me. This is called Spa Room, so if you're looking for that and you want to know the brand of this, I believe this was like maybe $15 or $20, and then it also came with a four-pack of essential oils, but the essential oil that I've been loving for years and just loving and appreciation with this is the Indigo Bloom Essential Oil. I believe this is Walmart's brand. Hold on one second. So this is it here. And oh, this is my favorite. It reminds me, 
kind of, it's hard to explain. It's like the ocean, pool water, spa, <laughs> and a floral situation all in one. It's, it's really hard to describe the scent. Um, but I don't know, it, it's, it smells like incense, but it smells a little bit of like being near the ocean and the pool and then the spa all in one. I'm just obsessed with this scent. They used to have the big bottle that was like $3 and I, I think they discontinued it because I used to, I go through this so much. I've been using it for 10 years and now I only can find this size and now it's starting to get harder to find this size but this is my all time favorite. Now I use it very, very sparingly because it's hard to find. Even online it's always sold out. It doesn't say discontinued so if you know where any of these are, Indigo Bloom, it's one of my favorite scents. And then I'm all out of it and I'm mad that I threw away but the other scent that I've been really using a lot is bergamot which is also in the Dr. Till's Epsom salt as an essential oil I really love bergamot candles I love the bergamot essential oil I just like the smell of bergamot especially like paired with um, sandalwood or frankincense and myrrh bergamot is just really nice but yeah essential oils have been <laughs> essential oils have really been um, a thing for me and just to show you how this works this is the top it goes over this like that and this is where you put the water in so it goes in here and it has a line here where you stop the water and this is the outflow where the steam comes up and it comes up out of this tube here and then you sit it inside here and then it comes out through the funnel up at the top here and it's just really nice and you plug it in it's electrical um, and I just love it sitting next to the side of my bed so this is something I have been really really loving all right the next thing is an electric kettle <laughs> and it's this one I do not know how to pronounce it it's Vava V-A-V-A -A. Um, I'm upset for those who don't know, if you follow my blog, you already know I'm obsessed with tea. I've been drinking tea since I was literally in elementary school, and yeah, I'm, I'm all about that life. And so, um, I had to get an electrical kettle, specifically one that has presettings for different type of teas. So, if you don't know, certain teas, green tea, black tea, red tea, oolong tea, um, they need to be brewed and boiled at a certain temperature so you can fully get all the benefits and the flavor out of it correctly. Um, using just like a, red, a regular kettle on a stove or something you can really over boil and when you put the bag into that water you're basically burning the leaves. You're killing it, you're singeing it. And if you ever wonder why sometimes when you go somewhere and order the same type of tea and it's so much more flavorable, nine times out of ten, it's because they are brewing it and boiling it at the proper temperature. And it makes all the difference. And more importantly, I don't just drink tea for the flavor of it. I also really drink it for the medicinal and all the wonderful benefits of the things that tea offers. So I really wanted to invest in a electric kettle that had those presettings so I can really maximize the use of why I drink tea. And this particular brand caught my eye. I got it from Amazon and um, it was about $50 I believe. And so here are the presets here. You can see that all here and you just press it. And so it has delicate, which is usually like very, very delicate teas. Um, green tea, you have green tea, but you have different flavors of um, green tea. Now then you have white tea, like jasmine tea. And then you have oolong tea, which is very, very beneficial. I have a huge, like 200 box of oolong tea. And then it has fresh press, so if you wanna do coffee or anything, and then it has, for black tea, it has boil. And then it has a warmer, setting so it keeps the boil temperature of whatever you set it to for about 30 minutes it keeps it warm for about 30 minutes and I just 
I love it. Once I knew we were quarantined, I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and spend the money I probably would have spent on some clothes and going out and do what I always wanted and get my electrical tea pot. And I so so happy that I have it. I'm drinking tea a billion times more now and I am enjoying the flavor that I was always missing burning it with the regular kettle on the stove. So yes, Amazon, um, this is 1.7 liters here. So uh, if you can see it, it's so awkward. <laughs> um, this is the measurement here and you stop it there. 1.7 liters and yes. I've been loving this during my quarantine shutdown. All right, next, keep it in the food and beverage place. And it is the Birch Benders Micro Pancakery. And this is Banana Palo, um, grain-free, gluten-free, no added sugar, six grams of protein, just add water, no glucosamine, and dairy-free. <sighs> I have been wanting to try this, so um, on another video I'm going to talk about um, some things that I've been dealing with health-wise and I decided to try a more keto diet, especially since we've been in quarantine. And I'm a person that really loves French toast. I do enjoy pancakes, um, particularly like blueberry and banana, um, and the same when it comes to French toast and waffles and all of that thing. So, Switching out my pancake, waffle, French toast mix or whatever is something that I definitely need to do if I wanted to follow the keto diet. And um, I saw this brand, I wanted to try it, and I've actually been liking it. I always doctor my stuff up, but I wanted to try it by itself. And it took me a while to find it in the stores near me. And then I went online to Amazon, and of course it was more. And I finally went to a Kroger's and they had it for $3. So I bought like four packs of these, not knowing if I would even like it, but I just really, really felt like I should take advantage of it because I can even make banana muffins out of it. I feel like there was a way I could doctor this up and use it regardless. And I like it, it does the job. Um, and it only has 18 grams, zero sugar with three um, grams and fiber. I, I, <sighs> been liking this I'm happy it's great it's banana um, I'm great with it to substitute it for my regular pancake mix or for my waffle mix and um, since being on my modified version of the keto value it's been great so give it a try if you haven't already all right so non beverage non food related items one thing I have been enjoying is these particular books and this one is The Gifts of Imperfection. Let go of who you think you are supposed to be and embrace who you are by Brenny Brown. I believe I'm pronouncing that right. I got this book probably about five years ago. I've been looking at it for years and I just never got it, but then I found it around the holidays five years ago and I've been rereading it. So I've been enjoying reading again and particularly this book. And then I also um, have picked up again The Untethered Soul, The Journey Beyond Yourself by Michael A. Singer. I'm obsessed with this book. It talks about who you are really. It all talks about the soul, the unconscious self, the conscious self, um, and just how we can develop ourselves and heal ourselves and understanding our mind, our psyche, and our soul, and how it works together. So. Reading has definitely been a thing for me, as well as kind of meditation, which I will talk about. But these two books have been back on my radar, and I'm very happy that I have started back reading these and just meditating over them. So check these two out for some inspiration, introspection, reflection, self-improvement, all that good stuff. Okay, the next thing is just a little notebook, journal, whatever you want to call it. This is just a regular like little spiral notebook journal. Just writing down like ideas for my branding, um, just things that I want to focus on, all of that type of stuff. Just really, really, really focusing on journaling and writing things down. I talk about that on my blog as well if you've been following me. And um, yeah, I'm happy that I do that and still do that and have been doing that more, of course, during quarantine. So. 
this is something that I just enjoy. I'm happy that I do. I'm happy that it's a part of who I am and it's a part of my kind of routine and being. So yeah, journaling has been something that I have been enjoying. All right, the next thing is, again with the scents, I should have put it in with everything else, but candles, particularly this Chesapeake, uh, Chesapeake Bay Mind and Body Peace and Tranquility. This is cashmere and jasmine. It smells so good. My thing about Chesapeake Bay candles is they take a long time to burn, which is good. Um, I feel like you get your money's worth at a longer rate because they take so long to burn through. So like a regular candle size like this, the way I burn my candles, usually it's like Thursday through Sunday. <laughs> um, it would go within maybe a month. Whereas this will last me almost two months. Um, that's how slow they burn and they fragrant my room very, very well. So I've always loved candles since I was in middle school and I've carried it through as an adult now and I'm happy that I've developed this routine of having candles on my side tables in my bedroom just to relax. I even sometimes light them when I'm like doing a light cleaning in my room. If I'm vacuuming, dusting, or whatever, I like to light them. So having a candle is like a must. This is a must-have for me during this time and just in general. So candles. Okay, so something that I just want to talk about in general, not per se. Oh, actually, I have one more thing sitting in front of me, and it is paintbrushes. So, Kai. So having paint brushes has been something that I've been loving. I have been able to really get back into painting um, since I've been in quarantine. I wanted to get back with painting years ago and I finally did it last year. So having um, paint brushes and being able to paint during this time has been a stress reliever and a relaxer for me and I really really appreciate it and I'm glad that I got back to it and I've been investing into more brushes experiencing with different type of brushes different materials and synthetics and lengths and just kind of reacclimating and finding my style with painting and I do have an art channel at Nava Visionary Studio and I will have that link down below if you want to check out my art channel. It's still rough. I'm still trying to like get it to a certain level but painting has been something I've been enjoying since in quarantine and I'm glad that I finally got back to it. Alright. Yeah, so what I was finally going to say was one of the things that I'm enjoying since quarantining or sheltering in place is um, just realizing things about myself. Um, even more so, just people who I think about, people who I don't think about, people who reach out to me, people who don't reach out to me, and for what reasons, and just things that I really think about that still consume me career-wise, lifestyle-wise, um, all of those things I really, really, really have been like paying attention to and zoning down in and accepting, um, making p peace with and coming to accept. And that's been just a great, great reflection of just kind of healing myself and understanding myself and my nuances, my habits, um, my mindset, things that I feel like I deserve, things that I want, how I want to be in my friendships, relationships, my work relationships, and just how I want my household to flow, and just everything. I've really been paying attention to all of that during this quarantine process, and I've been just kind of enjoying it so much, and um, it's great to see um, just where I've come to in that and I understand myself more and um, forgiving myself about certain things, forgiving people about certain things and just saying where am I going to make a change and move forward and how I want to operate and it's still not going to be perfect, I'm still going to make mistakes and um, understanding nuances about my personality, you know, how sarcastic and playful I am and knowing everybody may not be able to handle that. but knowing that I probably need people who can handle it, but at the same time, how can I tweak it enough without losing that that's part of my personality and who I am. And just 
all those little things, how much I love diversity and culture and different foods and different music and um, how much easier and better in certain ways to have people that are in that same space with me, um, if not elevated to a higher space with me and that mindset and thinking and lifestyle of things. So it's just been really, really wonderful. I've been trying to see which I am a more optimistic person. I always look more at the glass full than empty. I try to find some type of silver lining, the gold at the pot of the end of the rainbow type of thing. Um, that's just who I am as a whole. And it's just been something I've been enjoying during this quarantine and understanding about myself. Even looking at how I like to wear my hair and the jewelry and the clothes that I wear and um, enjoying that I like to be naked 90% of the time. If I don't need to wear clothes, I don't want to. Just all of those things are like important to understand about myself and love about myself and appreciate about myself. And um, willing to do the necessary investment for that. And yeah, so um, that is about it. I don't want to be too long. Those are some actual products and things that I have truly, truly been enjoying, reappreciating, understanding why I was drawn to them in the first place, why I liked them, why they became a part of my lifestyle and in my regime, routine, whatever you want to call it. And just doing a lot more understanding who Tafira Nava is, what she wants in her life, the type of friendships, relationships, careers, um, a lifestyle she wants and needs in her life. And um, yeah, just ready for the next chapter, this new decade, this new century, and what the world awaits. So I thank you so much for watching this video. I hope maybe I introduced you guys to some new things. And if you already know about these things, maybe I've said something new for you. If not, we're just kindred spirits. And it's all good. Please like, share this video, give it a thumbs up. Please make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell up top. And I can't wait to share more videos for you. I have a few more where I'm going to talk about a few more of these things. Like I'm going to do a nighttime routine. I plan on doing a more in-depth two-parter skincare routine, a spa time. I have some recipes coming for some smoothies and all of that stuff. So I can't wait to share all of that with you guys with you. And again, be safe. Care about more than yourself because it affects the world as a whole. I love you so much, you guys. Namaskar.